Hello, music student. How are we today? It's good. Do better. Better is good. Good is better. Anyway, this is your unit two, which is keyboard sounds. And today we are working on tonality and modality. Tonality and modality. Whew. We have lots of vocabulary to get through today. Uh, one or two you've probably heard before. Most of this is probably new to you. I'm good with that. We can move forward with our music theory and knowing more about music. So our vocabulary starts with major scale. It's a diatonic scale that has a pattern of whole and half steps. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, we not only have major scales, but we have minor scales too. And there are several different kinds of minor scales. This minor scale... Is a diatonic scale that has a pattern of whole and half steps. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. So, major, minor. Okay. Modality, which is a, it's a reference to which mode a scale or song is in. Next one is mode. It's a pattern of notes that gives us a scale, its sound, and tonality. Root. So it's the bottom note of the triad, the note from which the triad is built. Triads, we can also call them chords for this particular purpose. Um, tonality. So it's the sense that music is headed towards or centered around a specific note. Tonic is the home note of a tonal composition. It's basically the first note of the scale that helps you with the key of the music you're in. Lots to think about. A triad. It's a group of three notes built by stacking two intervals of a third on top of each other. One of the most basic facts about melodies is also the one of the hardest to define. We all instinctively know that melodies give a sense of heading towards a specific note. If you stop humming a tune in the middle, it's obvious that something is wrong. That the tune has not been completed. So... even to someone who has not heard that before. This sense that the tune is heading somewhere or is centered around a specific note is known as tonality. Music has the quality and of tonality described as tonal. And the note that the music's focused on is called the tonic. Although there are other ways to identify the tonic, tonic which we will examine in this course, the easiest way is to sing or play through a song until you get to the last note. Almost always, not always, almost always, this note will give a strong sense of arriving home or completing the song. If so, you can know you have identified the tonic. In this lesson, we're going to examine the two ways that pitches are structured that give music a sense of tonality. First, we're going to examine two types of diatonic scales that provide a strong sense of tonality. Second, we're going to look at what happens when we play more than one note at a time and how that can contribute contribute to a sense of tonality. So our scales and modes, major and minor. In lesson three, we saw the difference between diatonic and chromatic scales. So diatonic scales have that pattern. Chromatic scales is every note between this note and this note, white and black keys. These are not the only two types of scales. There are two subtypes of the diatonic scale that we're going to examine here, the major scale and the minor scale. The diatonic scale is what we focused on in the last lesson was the major scale. So the major scale is the diatonic scale that has the pattern of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. The, major, the major scale that uses only the white notes on the keyboard is a home note or tonic of C. So just the white notes. C to C. That is the tonic of C. The other diatonic scale that we're going to consider here is the minor scale. The minor scale is a diatonic scale that has the pattern of whole steps and half steps. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. The minor scale that uses only the white notes on the keyboard has a home, or home note or tonic of A. Minor. 
All right. An easy way to compare the two scales is by looking at a major and a minor scale that start on the same note. This shows a major and minor scale that both start with C. If you look at the two scales, you can see that there are differences in just three of the notes. On the third note of the scale, it is lowered from an E to an E flat, the sixth from an A to an A flat, and the seventh from B to B flat. These simple changes change the entire feeling of the scale. Although both scales start and end on the same note, each has a different pattern of whole steps and half steps that create different sounding scales. Both scales have the same focal point or tonic, the note C, but because they are different in the middle, they have completely different sounds. The different patterns of notes that give the scale its sound and tonality are known as modes. When we refer to each mode of a scale or song is in, we talk about its modality. The two most important and widely used modes are the major and the minor. There are other modes, but because of the prevalence of major and minor modes, we're going to focus on them in this course. Although it's easy to see the difference between major and minor modes in figure 4.2, it's important to be able to hear the difference between them. The simplest description of the difference between them would be the major sounds happy and the minor mode sounds sad. This is necessarily an approximation, but it can give us a rough idea of the difference in sound between the two. The best way to be able to discern the two is to listen to our two examples. So go ahead and give this one a listen. Now, we are gonna start on triads, our major and minor triads. So far, our examination of pitch has only considered when one note at a time is being played. Although this is a good example of how we sing as an individual, it's very difficult to sing more than one note at once. Almost all of the music we listen to includes more than one note played at a time. The effect that is created when more than one note is played is, once, is known as harmony. And we will study this more in our lesson seven of this particular unit and the rest of the course. Here we should examine some of the most basic building blocks of harmony, the triad. A triad is a group of three notes built by stacking two intervals of a third on top of each other. In figure 4.3, you see we built a triad starting on middle C on the bottom, an interval above that is an E, that's a third above it, and a third above E is a G. Another way to think of building a triad is by writing every other note on the diatonic scale, C, E, G, or the first, the third, and the fifth. Of that scale. Triads are named based on the bottom note, which is called the root of the triad. Now this is in the key of C, remember that when you're going through. Triads can also be named in much the same way as scales are, based on their modality. Because of the root of the triad, figure 4.3, is C, and because it includes all the notes found in the major scale, based on the root, we can identify this triad as a C major triad, C major chord. A minor triad would include notes from a minor scale that started on the root. The triads in figure 4.4 have been named based on their root and modality, or quality. Notice that the major has been capitalized and the minor is left lowercase. This is the traditional way of writing these words to emphasize their difference in sound. There are other types of triads, diminished, augmented. We're, we're going to get into those later. Um, we're not going to study them right now. The main things to focus on are the structure and the name of the triads. So we have a C major, C, E, G, and a C minor, C, E flat, G. This is also another listening exercise based on what's above. Now they want you to match the following terms. These particular ones are the vocab from up above. Okay. Now they want you to select the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or the minor pattern. Okay. Now you're going to select the correct notes in this scale, the C scale, select the correct notes in the C scale, select the correct, correct notes in E flat major, Okay, select the right notes in D minor, G minor, okay, and down here, 
they want you to tell me what the triad is, including their roots and modalities. So if you click on this, so is it a C minor, C major, D, F major, D major, G major? Okay. If you have questions on this particular unit that you need to wrap your head around, please let me know. I can help explain it to you in different ways. We can talk about it a little bit more. Let me know, because this is something that if you don't quite understand this, it's really hard to understand moving forward. So please, 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 please let me know. Um, you can kind of cheat, kind of cheat on these here scales in that I've given you scales. Um, you just have to transpose and figure out which one is in concert pitch. Okay. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Um, scroll back up if you need the answers. Take lots of notes. This is important moving forward in music. It's really good stuff to know. So let me know if you need any help. You're doing an amazing job. Don't give up. You've got this. You've got it. Right there. I see you. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.